Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate CTE or conditional tail expectation within Excel. Uh, to begin, I have daily stock returns of SPY or the S&P 500 index. And uh, I just calculated quickly the daily profit or loss and the daily profit or loss percentages. Um, and to calculate CTE, we first want to start off with calculating what the VAR or value at risk is. Um, and so if you don't know what value at risk is, uh, go and look at my previous video on how to calculate VAR in Excel, and I'll explain that. Uh, but to start off, we'll do percentile uh, dot EXC, and then the array that we want, we'll be dealing with the dollar amount. So we will use this first array here, and we'll hit F4. And we want, for this first one, the 80th percentile. So we will be putting in... 20% or 0 0.20. And this provides us the value at risk at the 20, 80th percentile or the worst outcome uh, at an 80% chance risk. And so we'll just copy this formula down and we can change this uh, for the 95th percentile, we'll put in 0 0.05. And for the 99th percentile, we'll put in 0 0.01. And so right here are all the VARs for each percentile risk. And again, you can make this dynamic if you want. I just manually hard-coded the percentages in there. Now, if we want the CTE, uh, this is the average of the worst outcomes within that percentile range. Uh, so it's the average of the worst 5% possible scenarios for CTE 95, or the average of the 1% worst scenarios uh, as CT 99. And then 80%, uh, as you guessed it, is the average of the worst 20% scenarios. Uh, so we wanna, what we want to do is we want to type in average ifs right here. And then the average range, so we want to average the dollar loss amount um, or the dollar gain. And then hit F4. And the criteria range, we will also be using the dollar amount uh, so we'll use the same range, and we'll hit F4. And then the criteria, we the criteria we want, we want this to be less than the 95th or 80th or 99th percentile, whatever percentile range we set. But we want this to be less than the VAR, uh, which we calculated just a second ago. And so we'll update this formula. And now, as we can see, it has changed. I'll show you the change. Uh, from the 90th percentile, and it typically should increase if you know you did it right. So it did increase because we're averaging the worst 20% scenarios, which we know are going to be um, a higher loss than the 20th percentile by itself. And so I'll just copy this formula down for the next two, and then we just change the percentage. Uh, so from 20% to 0 0.5, and then from 99 or 20% to 1%. Um, and so here we are, we have the CT for the 80th percentile, the 95th percentile, and the 99th percentile. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.